Well, Moldova is this place where the startup ecosystem is just being born. That also means the potential is endless, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Join us in this adventure. This year, the very first startup summit took place in Kishino. This is the birthday of the ecosystem in Moldova. Moldovans are building their startup scene and doing it fast. Because for the first time in the country's history, they can. Hello! Hi! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Marian, Michaela, nice to Michaela. meet you, Marian. And you are uh, co-founder and CEO of Bloom Coding. <laughs> okay, nice. Bloom Coding is one of the fastest growing startups in Moldova. It teaches children to code. Our regional sales director, our chief of staff, Alex, Hello. and Mihai there. <laughs> <laughs> we work hybrid. We have one day in the week when we gather all together and have meals. We're used to that. Nice! It is. I it love is, the view. Is. This party used to be the old center. If you see the small houses, the old center was like this. Yeah. It wasn't nice when the Soviets bombed the whole city, right? Yeah, they kind of destroyed right. it in order to build their own uh, special architecture. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know it's brought all we the know and love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you started your company just a few years ago. Right? Yeah. And already lining up your awards. I have a daughter, she's eight year old. We are the first ones that are facing this huge challenge of raising children in a digital environment. And we have to learn to make this balance and to introduce them to technology in a safe and healthy way. What I've noticed from the parents around me, it's they go usually in extremes. Either they're banning completely any device while the child is growing up, and the other extreme is the parents completely leaving the child to grow only with the technologies. We managed to secure a 1 million euro funding round. It's venture capital, right? It's venture capital indeed. And uh, we have uh, great uh, investors. Our CEO, wow. co-founder. Wow. Ah. That's nice. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Well, Moldova's place where the startup ecosystem is just being born. Imagine what happened in your countries 10 years ago, it's happening now. And we're at the forefront of that. With Bloom Coding, we are actually creating this ecosystem. We have the ambition to become the first unicorn of this country. So that also means the potential is endless, right? Yeah, of course. So we have this uh, concept of a Moldovan IT park where we pay no employee taxes uh, on IT staff. And also on, we have a very low VAT rate in the country. We then called Matei, a little boy living in Romania, to tell us how he uses bloom coding. Okay, part the distracting. Car roller coaster. Uh-huh. When he was younger, <laughs> he likes to play Minecraft a lot of time of Minecraft. <laughs> He's and like then, mm -hmm. and Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> and then we decided that you uh, learn how it was created and uh, learn something useful for you. Actually, we didn't know that Bloom Coding was uh, created by a Moldovan. If Bloom Coding helps children and their parents, then Parkopedia supports the drivers. I was born in Moldova, I did computer science in the University of California in San Diego. In 2007, I had the idea for Parkopedia. And when I was in San Francisco going to a conference and I couldn't find a parking space. You do a lot of traveling. Is that right? Wikipedia is a global business. We have customers and partners and uh, all over the world. Even today, I'm uh, in the middle of a, of a business trip uh, that takes me across America. How many of your employees are Moldovan or based here? Uh, we probably have about 100 people in, in oh. our office in Moldova today. When you travel around the world, do you get a chance also to speak about where you come from and where a big part of your team is placed? I think 20 years ago, um, you know, when people ask me where I'm from, and I said, although I normally would get a just a blank stare that has changed over the years since the conflict, the war in Ukraine, where, of course, yeah, Moldova uh, shares uh, part of its border with, with Ukraine. Um, and also, of course, along with Ukraine, I've applied to, to join the European Union. Because I've lived through the breakup of the USSR and I have saw the pain and the hardship everyone around me because everyone was equally poor. We're talking about rolling blackouts in terms of electricity. 
gas being cut off for one, two months at a time. That definitely left an impact on me. I have always tried to help. When I was approached by um, Startup Moldova Foundation um, with the idea of joining the board last year, I, I jumped at the opportunity to the economic pie can grow and we create prosperity for everyone. I've seen a tremendous amount of, of development in terms of startups, and that's including Moldova, where we now have accelerators, incubators, and angel investors. Where I am right now is uh, one example of that. This is a co-working space in the central Chisinau, and there are more and more co-working spaces uh, opening up. And that's also showing that there's clearly a need. And right now, for instance, downstairs, we have a hackathon uh, where, you know, young minds are trying to create something new. So, you know, you, you can feel it. I see here so much ambition, so much passion, enthusiasm, but they're not afraid to think big. Instead of sitting back and waiting for the adults solve the problems for them, they are taking it in their hands. So you've been coming here for regularly over the years and you've helped young future entrepreneurs in Moldova. What are your impressions? We're organizing uh, hackathons for uh, young people. We gather around 50 of them at once, give them 48 hours to come up with something, and they always come up with really cool things. <laughs> I think the existing generation should watch out because the next generation, they're ambitious, they're very driven, they're very motivated. Uh, they're not afraid to think big. Hey, wonderful. Thank you so much and keep coming back. <laughs> Thank you. Until now, Moldova was dragged down by occupiers and oligarchs. But things have turned around. I think they have a government here that is interested in reform, that wants to see business grow, that is trying to attract uh, investors, you know, and fighting corruption. And the country's economy is rising from the ashes. Everyone is waiting for the first Moldovan startup unicorn. You can feel the excitement in the air. All the things that I've seen happen across Europe are happening here right now. It's become, I think it's going to become an incredibly hot place to be.